there's a wheelchair ramp. Mm-hmm. Well, how did that happen? I, uh, had it installed. And I had a few other changes made inside so you could get around easier in your wheelchair. Ethan, this... This is wonderful. It's okay, it's okay. I just, I just wanted to make it easy for you to take care of the baby and then little Ethan, in case he may come visit, you know, until you're up and around. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, sweetheart, look, look, you see what your daddy has done for us? <gasps> what good care he takes of us? Yes, isn't he the best daddy in the whole world? <gasps> yes, he is. What is it? What's wrong? You didn't do that for me. You did that because you want something from me. Teresa, what are you I'm talking about? I'm never going to be up and around because of Gwen. She put me in this wheelchair and you still want me to drop the charges against her. It's okay, sweetheart. Gwen, what are you doing now? Look, I'm your mother. You can't want to harm me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Teresa has driven my daughter into a matricidal rage. How could you keep a secret like this, Whitney? What's going on? I mean, what's secret? Oh. God help me. I'm pregnant with my brother's baby. Whitney, what secret is Fox talking about? Why don't you just leave us alone? You know, you've already done enough damage to our family. Luis, mijo, don't. Okay? Calma, they let your father speak. He was about to tell us the whole truth. The truth? To, why should you believe a word that he says he abandoned us, okay? He's been living with another woman for the last 20 years, Mama. Luis, if you just listen to what I say, it'll explain everything. I want to hear it, Luis. Please just listen for once, for me. It could change our lives forever. I need to talk with you. Abigail. Oh. <laughs> I love her. I bought her for you, darling, so that you'll always have a friend. You'll always have somebody who watches over you when you sleep, no matter what happens. But I have you, Mommy. Oh, yes, darling. You'll always have me. But every time you look at Abigail, you'll think of me. And you'll know I love you more than anything else in the whole wide world. Oh, I hope you gave my darling girl some comfort when I left her alone. I hope so. No! Sheridan! <gasps> Oh my God, I can't believe what I just saw. Someone's coming. Sheridan, oh my God, what's happened? Sheridan, Sheridan. Oh God. Okay, get Oh my God, she's dead. Daughter's dead. That's why you did this. 
Because you want me to drop the charges against Gwen. Yeah, I do want you to drop the charges, How but this has not... How can you ask me to do that, Ethan? Gwen stabbed me in the back with a scalpel two times. She put me in this wheelchair. I am paralyzed because of her. Teresa, I know this, but remember, she was out of her mind when she did it, when she found out that this little baby wasn't hers, okay? It was her last chance to have a child. You remember that, Yeah, right? and that gives her the right to do this to no, me. No, it doesn't give her the right. But when her mind has snapped like that, she can't be held responsible for what she did. Oh, I intend to hold her responsible. I want to see her put away forever. All right, I don't believe that. Do you have any pity? Any pity for her at all? Yes, Ethan. I feel pity. I would have given anything to deliver both babies. Gwen's implanted embryo and mine, but the doctor said that I couldn't carry both babies to term, that I had to have the procedure, that I had to sacrifice one of them in order to save the other. I didn't want to do it, remember? But you and Gwen begged me to do it, so I did. I left it up to God, I left it up to the doctors, and the one who survived was our daughter, and, Ethan. And, and I thank God for then her every you day. you can bribe me into dropping the charges against Gwen? Teresa, I'm not trying... Okay, I'm, baby. I'm not bribing you. I had the ramp installed, I had the changes made inside the house because I... I just want to help you take care of the baby. That's it. Oh, it's, it's okay, just calm down. You know what? I hope it's true because if not, get rid of it, Ethan. I don't want it. Take it out. All right, listen. Now. Listen. You're being ridiculous. Please, right? just get rid of it, Ethan. Because I'm not going to change my mind. I'm not going to drop my charges against Gwen. It's okay, sweetheart. Gwen, 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 calm down. You, you heard what that guard said. If you don't behave, they're going to send you to solitary, and I know you don't want that. Help, help, no, 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 no. Enough is enough, really. I mean, I mean, it's bad enough you tried to, to kill Sheridan. I, she's your best friend, but I'm your mother. I mean, I gave birth to you, but I'm beginning to doubt my judgment about that. Gwen, please, you can't want to kill me. I'm your mommy. Hey. You want to tell me what's going on here? Yeah. Fox said something about a secret. What secret? Oh. Yeah. What exactly did you hear me say? I mean, did you hear what I was saying to Catherine? Is that it? Well, no, I didn't hear all of it. No, when my grandmother walked away, I did hear you mumble something to yourself. So you didn't hear what I was saying to myself, either? No. No, I didn't. But what I did hear of your conversation with my grandmother was kind of disturbing. Just, well, what was it? They were talking about Whitney terminating the pregnancy. What? Are you thinking about terminating the pregnancy, Whitney? Is it true? Were you actually thinking about getting rid of our baby? I never meant to hurt you, Pilar. I never would have left if I hadn't had good reason. I knew it. I knew there was more to it than you just wanting to protect Catherine. Why did you go, Mom? I had no choice. That is such bull! Well, you had no choice but to abandon a wife who loved you and five children who needed you? I didn't have a no, choice, No, do not Luis. listen to another word. I, I want to hear what he has to say. Mama, it is nothing but lies, okay? I'm not going to hear any more of it. Just shut up, all right? Just shut the hell up. You're not going to hurt her again. Please open your eyes. Tell me you're all right. Please, oh God. God, please let her be all right. Is she dead, Alistair? Oh God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Sharon? Are you hurt? No one will ever know. What is it? What is it? What happened to you? What did happen, Alistair? Sheridan suddenly dropped like a stone and you hadn't even fired a shot. Obviously, she passed out. It was it because she was sleepwalking? I, I didn't think someone could pass out if they were already sleeping. Well, the brain is a very complicated thing. Whatever was going through, 
Sharon's head at that particular moment was probably so horrible that her mind just couldn't take it in. And that caused her to collapse? No. Yes, I mean, there are so many things about the mind that even the, the greatest psychiatrists in the world just don't understand. But this is something I understand perfectly. That right there, only a few feet away from me, are two of my biggest problems. And I'm sure that I could take them both out with one shot. Listen to me, you are getting excited over nothing. I just, <laughs> I wanted to make your life easier. It's hard enough to take care of an infant without being in a wheelchair, Teresa. I just want to help you take care of her. Really? Really. Mommy! Hey. Sweetheart! Oh my goodness! I am so happy to see you. Me too, Mom. You arranged to have my son brought to me. Yes, I did. Just for a visit. Maybe we'll spend the night, I don't know. Spend the night? Spend the night? Yeah. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Ethan, so much. You're welcome. Is this my baby sister? Yes, yeah. this is. Let's look. Let's Want to meet her? her? Look at her face. Did you see her? Oh my God, <laughs> isn't she beautiful? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She's kind of little. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Well, she is, yes, but you know what? Oh, honey. Shh, shh. You were once this child, too. Okay, okay. Did you know that? No. Okay. Can you go have some hot chocolate now? Yes, yes you can have some hot chocolate. If you don't think you'll need me, I'll be going. I'm sure we'll be fine. Thanks, Miss Rogers. Thanks for bringing my son to me. Thank you for everything that you've done. Teresa, will you ever stop hating Gwen? Will you ever forgive her so she can be set free? Or are you going to force my wife to spend the rest of her life behind bars? Oh my gosh, she's going to kill me. My own daughter's going to do me in. <laughs> Gwen, what, what, what are you doing? I'm playing hopscotch. To teach my little girl how to play hopscotch. It's very important. So don't get in my way. Uh, no, no, I, I wouldn't. Good. Because it's very important that she learn how to play this game. It's very important that she know how to play. I have no intentions of hurting your mother again, Louise. Now, I have something to tell you both if you just listen. Well, you know what? I'm not listening. And what the hell are you still doing here anyway? I thought you were leaving Harmony. Or would you decide to stay here so you could torture Mama? Or so your mistress can torture Sheridan? Don't say that. Catherine loves her daughter. Oh, yeah, she loves her. She loves her so much that she abandoned her without an explanation, no goodbye, no nothing. She left her to think that she was dead. Just the same way you did. You know what? You're nothing but a coward. Louise, what's this? Why do I hear raised voices? This is a place of peace. Well, it's Martin Fitzgerald here who's disturbing the peace, Father. And for some reason, he decided to come to the church to tell more of his lies. Louise, I want you to calm down. Now, you asked to meet me to discuss the rescheduling of your wedding. But I think it's more important for you to try to heal your family instead. Well, this man here is not a member of my family, so there's not going to be any healing. My mother and I are leaving. No. Luis, no, no, I'm not going to let you stay here and listen to any more of his garbage. Now, when my so-called father leaves Harmony, we will discuss the wedding, Father. Come on. Very well. Wait, don't you care that I want to listen to what he has to say? No, I'm sorry, I don't. He's only going to make excuses for what he did, and what he did is inexcusable. Now, come on. <laughs> I just wanted to tell her the real reason that I left Harmony. I mean, it's probably better that Louise stop me. I shouldn't burden her with it. And no one should ever know the truth. 
It's too horrible. You aren't really going to shoot them, are you? I mean, that's your own daughter over there. Yes, my darling daughter, Sheridan, is going to be just as dead as her faithless mother. She doesn't keep her mouth shut. Sheridan, Sheridan, can you hear me? Are you awake? What's wrong? Oh, uh, I think we should just uh, wait for a while. You see, Sheridan's still in her sleepwalking trance. Her mother doesn't realize that. So if we wait, we might see some real fireworks. And I probably won't need this. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, you hurt, darling. Can I help you up? Oh, Sheridan. Oh, Sheridan, you were lying there so still. I was afraid. What's wrong with you? Why don't you say something? It was here. It was right here. You're right. She is still sleepwalking. My God, the anguish that that poor woman must be carrying with her. Tina, if you value your position with me. I think you should concentrate on my anguish. Of course. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Crane. Mm, right. Sheridan, what's wrong? Darling, why aren't you talking to me? Isn't it dangerous to wake someone if they're sleepwalking? Oh, yes. Very dangerous. Right now, Catherine has Sheridan's life in her hands. <laughs> Are you thinking about terminating the pregnancy? Fox, you don't understand. Well, what don't I understand? I heard you talking to my grandmother about how you once thought about terminating the pregnancy. God, Whitney, is this true? Look, I don't even remember what I said to your grandmother exactly. I, I, I mean, she was thing saying that I must have been horrified to think that Alistair's evil blood was in my baby. Really? Yeah. Well, were you? I mean, it never occurred to me that you might have reservations about carrying Alistair Crane's great-grandchild. Well, no, no, that's the thing. I, I hadn't thought about that either. It was... It was just a conversation, okay? That's all it was. Right. Because yeah. what other reason would you have? Right? You're not alone in this. You got me. I'm gonna give you everything that you need. My baby's gonna grow up to be strong and healthy and very loved. I know, I know. Okay, so you weren't having second thoughts about keeping the baby? You weren't thinking about terminating the pregnancy? Fox, stop badgering her, all right? She already told you what you overheard. It was our grandmother questioning her. I'm not badgering her. I'm trying to get an answer to my question. Look, she already answered your question. And you know what? What if she did consider getting rid of the baby? It's none of your business anyway. It's none of my business? Chad, it's my baby. Well, it's her body. And it's her choice. Why don't you just, what, what does this have to do with you anyway? Stay out of it. It does have to do with Chad Fox. Martin, what happened that was so horrible you don't want to talk about it? I wanted to make Pilar understand, you know, but in a way, I'm relieved that Luis wouldn't let me tell her the truth. It's always the right thing to tell the truth, Martin. No matter how difficult it might be, no matter how frightened you might be. Not in this case, Father. I know that Catherine Crane was being abused by Alistair, and I know that you felt compelled to take her away, to protect her. You were both running for your lives. That's right. Pilar knows this much as well. What more is there to tell her? There's a lot more to the story, Father. Then why don't you tell me? If it will ease your burden, tell it to me. All right, I'll tell you. 
I'll tell you what's black in my heart for more than 20 years. We need to get as far away from that man as possible. No, Luis, it was wrong of you to stop your father from talking to me. He was about to tell me the real reason why he left. Mama, we know the reason. Catherine Crane is the reason. No, there's more to it. I could feel it. I can't stand to see you doing this to yourself. You're desperately trying to justify everything Papa did. Luis, I knew your father better than I knew any other human being in my whole entire life. I knew him. That's why when he disappeared, I just, it never crossed my mind that he left me for another woman. So you didn't really know him? Yes. I did. I lit a candle for him every night, praying for his return. I never allowed myself to believe that he was dead. Your father was a, an honorable man, a decent man, a man who would never break his wedding vows. Unless... Unless what? Hmm? What are you saying? I just know that there's more to the story and what he's told us. And if your father wants to explain it, then I want to hear it. No, the best thing that could happen would be for him and his slut to leave town. Sharon, please, please tell me what's wrong. He was here. Right here. What are you doing? Aren't you going to shoot them? No, I don't think it's necessary right now. Because if Sharon is remembering what I think she is remembering, Catherine is about to be eliminated. Permanently. <laughs> Special changing table for the baby. It's low enough for me to change our daughter while I'm in the chair. Thank you. Can I have a ride in your chair? Whoa. A ride <laughs> in my chair? Absolutely. Uh -oh. I will take the baby. Thank you. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Yeah, she All right, of course. My goodness, you're going to come on. Carefully. There we go. Okay. Now hold on tight, because this. Not too fast in here, okay? Oh, you know, I don't know about that. What do you think? Watch out for turn. Watch the couch. I'm going to get better, I promise. What do you think? Is this fun? Yeah. Kind of? <laughs> you know, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to take care of my son or our daughter. Now I'm beginning to have hope. I think we're going to be just fine. Gwen, honey, do you, do you know who I am? I, I'm, honey, I'm, I'm your mother, and I'll do whatever I can to help then you. Please get out of the way, mother. I'm playing hopscotch, and you're in one of the squares. Oh. You know, I wasn't very good at this when I was little, because you never taught me how to play. But I'm going to practice, and I'm going to be perfect. I have to be perfect for my little girl. Well, I'm, I'm sure I have to be good. I mean, I have got to be the best hopscotch player in the world. Oh. How do you see why I haven't told anyone? Martin, that is indeed a horrific story. My secret is so horrible. How, how could I expect Pilar to understand? How could anyone understand? Oh. Luis, ven, hijo, por favor. Escúchame. Don't you understand? If your father leaves Harmony, we're never going to know the real truth about why he left. But don't you understand? We already know the truth. Mama, it just makes me crazy. I know that you want to believe that there was some reason that Papa left us. I mean, there simply wasn't. But, but if there was a good reason, no. don't you know? Mama, there wasn't, OK? You're believing that there were some sort of circumstances that were beyond his control, and that's just not true. But how do you know that unless you listen to what he has to say? Mama, 
I know that this hurts you, okay? Listen, you have to believe that Papa is not the man who he once thought he was, okay? He left you. He abandoned his family. He's a dog, okay? I'm simply not going to let you listen to any more of his lies. <laughs> Will you wake up? I think you're still half asleep. I killed my mother. I killed her. You. No, no, darling. You didn't kill me. I'm right here. Sarah. I'm so sorry for what you did to me. I don't know. No, I. You're supposed to be dead. I'm telling you, I killed you. You should be dead. God, Gwenny, you're, you're bleeding. Are you all right? Who are you? Get away from me! Get away from me! Oh, my God. Oh, my poor Gwenny. Damn you, Teresa. Damn you for doing this to my daughter. But I am going to get her out of this hell if it is the last thing I ever do. Done. It's quick. Oh, this is wonderful. You know, to be at home with our daughter and my son. I think I'm going to be able to manage now. Thanks to everything that you've done. I never had any doubt that you would be able to take care of them. Besides, I think this condition of yours, I think it's temporary. The doctors just said it would take some time for you to regain the use of your legs, that's all. Well, they also said that the longer I go without improvement, the more likely that it's permanent. Hey, it's, it's, it's all a matter of whether you want to look at the glass half full or half empty. Is that what you think I'm doing? Looking at the glass like it's half empty? No, I don't think so. Not you. Teresa, the eternal optimist. Come on, you always think that things are going to work out the best for you, no matter how bad the odds are stacked against you. Mm. Well, I just believe that fate is going to make it all turn out right for me. If I didn't believe in that, I think that well, I would be completely lost. Well, whatever it is that keeps you going, in spite of everything, it's a good thing. It's good for your children to see that their mommy has a bright, happy future ahead of her. I want to see that bright future. I want the chance to be the best mother in the world. <laughs> you are a wonderful mother. Wonderful. I just hope I can be half as good a father. You will be, Ethan. And together we are going to make sure that our daughter has the perfect childhood. <laughs> and we're off. Someone's unhappy. about what does Chad have to do with our child I'd like to hear the answer to that too I know why you think your father's a terrible man I understand your anger 
I've been just as angry, believe me. I mean, the man left us. He let us believe that he was dead. He never contacted us. Why should we feel anything but anger towards him? I know. But I, I can't stop my heart from wanting to know the whole truth so that we can finally understand what happened to make him leave. Well, I don't care what happened. And I don't want to know any more about the past. Well, don't you see all the past does is cause us pain. And as far as I'm concerned, Martin Fitzgerald can leave Harmony tonight and never come back. Father, you, you don't know how hard it's been to carry this secret all these years. I can very well imagine. I, why? Why did I think that I could tell Pilar the truth? I mean, hearing myself say it out loud, it, it's more horrifying than ever. My son, you must not carry this secret a moment longer. You cannot continue to carry this burden. I can't get rid of it, Father. I'll carry this with me to my grave. No. It was difficult to hear. It's a shocking, terrible story. But now that I have heard it, I can deal with it. And if you ever want to be free of this, you must tell Pilar and Luis. Pilar still loves you. Luis wants to love you. Tell them. It is a horrible secret, but it will allow them to understand you, Martin. I don't know. I don't think there's anything that I can say that will do that. You must try. It will allow them to understand the pain you have been through all these years. Not being able to be with your family. I don't want to burden them with it. You have already burdened them. They think you left for no good reason. If you tell them the truth, it will lift that burden from their hearts. If you think that, that it would help them. It will help them. And it will set you free. You must expose this evil to be free of it, Martin. Give your wife and your son the respect they deserve. Tell them the truth. Luis, put forward. Mijo, this isn't right. I want to go back. I want to hear what Martin's Mama, trying to please say. stop. Please. Okay. He's just going to fill your head with lies. You're going to open your heart to him, and he's going to hurt you again. Try to protect me. I back. am protecting you. Come on, let's go. Luis, wait. I have something to tell you. And I'm not letting either one of you leave until you hear it. Whoa, 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 Whitney. Mm -hmm. You said that our child does concern Chad. Now, how exactly? Hey, what are you trying to tell us, Whitney? Uh, it's just that, um, well, you're both men, for one thing. <laughs> yeah. What? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I... Well, just that. I mean, you guys have no idea what it's like to be pregnant. <laughs> and the pressure you're under knowing that you're going to be a mother. OK, you got a point there. I'll never know what it feels like to carry a child, but I do know what it's like to feel responsible for a child's life. I still don't know what this has to do with Chad. Well, you two are half-brothers. So Chad is going to be our baby's uncle. True. You know, um, I know our mom really messed up when she didn't tell me that, you know, you were her son until after you and I were together. And I may never forgive her for that. But I just want you to know that I will never push you out of my life or my baby's life because of it, okay? That's good to hear. It's just important to me that our baby have a loving, extended family, you know? Well, good. It's important to me, too. Yeah. But I want you to know that if even, even if we were alone in this world, if it was you, me, and the baby, we would be fine. Because I love you. And I love our baby. I love our baby with all my heart. And whatever fears you have about being a mother, Whitney, I'm here for you, okay? We can handle them together. Okay. Okay. okay.
what are you not telling Fox, Whitney? What's really going on? Are you getting hungry? She looks hungry. hungry. Are you getting hungry? Daddy, Ethan, hmm? will you play with me? Oh, can I go play with me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Now, this is how it should be. You, me, little Ethan, and Ethan, a real family. Ethan will spend the rest of his life with me, and Gwen will spend the rest of her life in jail. That's right. Stay away from me. All of you, just please just stay away from me, okay? I just want to see my daughter. That's all I want to do. I just want to see my daughter, okay? No, no, no. Stay away from me. You stay away from me. Damn you, Teresa. I will not let you do this to my daughter. I told you. We're not interested in anything that you have to say. Yeah, well, it's time that you knew the truth, Louise. You and your mother, and let the chips fall where they may. I'm gonna tell you everything. You can't be here. I killed you. I killed you, and you're dead. Sheridan, I, I want you to calm down. I don't know what you've been dreaming, but I'm here, and I'm alive. You haven't killed anyone. Oh, careful, Catherine. It's not wise to argue with a sleepwalking person. No, you're not here because you're dead, and, and, and I, I killed you. Sheridan, you did not kill me. I'm your mother. I love you. I'm alive. I'm here for you. You should be dead. Because I killed you. Sheridan, no. Yes. I killed you. No. Yes. No. That's right, Sheridan. Kill her. Kill your mother. Where can a person go to have a good time? How about my place? Sounds good to me. I remember I found a burlap sack. I remember you really freaked out. You told me not to touch it. There was a very good reason for that. Why? What was in that sack? <laughs>